Imagine living in the 17th century in England. You might have been delighted to learn that the Earth was created on Sunday, October 23rd, 4004 BC, a date that was calculated in 1650 by the Irish Archbishop of Armagh, James Usher, who meticulously counted the lifespans of everyone descended from Adam and Eve as recorded in the Hebrew Bible. In fact, it was an appealing thesis consistent with the prevailing understandings of the time and was accepted without question by the most learned individuals. It wasn't until the 17th century that geology began to challenge such faith-based assumptions. The scientific study of human evolution, paleoanthropology, only emerged in the mid-19th century. According to scientists, our universe was born 13.8 billion years ago. To help us grasp this immense span of time, imagine compressing the entire history of the universe into a single calendar year. In this cosmic calendar, the Big Bang occurs at the very first second of January 1st, and the present day corresponds to the final second of December 31st at midnight. On this scale, each month represents roughly a billion years. Let's take a closer look at key events on this timeline, especially all of the activity in December alone. At 11.52 p.m. on December 31st, modern humans evolve. Just 1.2 seconds before midnight, Columbus arrives in America. And in the year 2000, a mere 0.05 seconds remain on the cosmic calendar. Concepts like these involving large numbers and vast time frames are notoriously difficult for the human mind to comprehend. To illustrate this further, imagine holding a newspaper just one two hundredth of a centimeter thick. If you could fold it in half repeatedly without limitation, after 30 folds, its thickness would astonishingly reach 34 miles. After 43 folds, it would stretch all the way to the moon, about a quarter of a million miles away. In fact, to be precise, it would surpass the distance to the moon by about 34 and a half thousand miles. This might sound unbelievable, but a quick calculation of two to the 43rd power confirms it. When I first encountered this idea, I had to double check the math to believe it was correct. I share this example to highlight how challenging it is to grasp large numbers because they are abstract and difficult to conceptualize. This difficulty becomes especially evident when discussing time frames of a million years, 100,000 years, or even 10,000 years. Numbers that far exceed the lifespan of an individual, making them hard to fully comprehend. Prehistory, on the other hand, refers not to a specific time, but to any period in human history that lacks written records. So when does history begin? It begins with the advent of writing around 3200 BC. The earliest civilizations to develop writing were the Sumerians in the Middle East who created cuneiform, the Egyptians who developed hieroglyphs, and the societies in northern India that produced the Indus script. Different cultures became literate at different times. In Mesopotamia, a region that now includes Iraq and parts of Turkey and Syria, as well as in Egypt, literacy emerged as early as the late 4th millennium BC. How do we know anything about our ancestors going back 6 million years? Fossils, traces of once living organisms embedded in stones. The earliest incontrovertible fossil evidence for a hominin is called Australopithecus afarensis and is 3.18 million years old and comes from East Africa. The word hominin means on the way to becoming human. The word Australopithecus afarensis is a combination of astral, which is Latin for southern, and pithecos, which is Greek for ape. Afarensis refers to the Afar region in Ethiopia. So the word means southern ape from the Afar region. The most famous example is a fossil skeleton named Lucy, discovered in 1974 in Hadar, Ethiopia, by paleoanthropologists Donald Johansson and Tom Gray. Lucy, believed to be a female, based on her short stature, was named after the Beatles song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, which her discoverers played repeatedly in celebration. Africa, in a very real sense, 
is the cradle of humanity. Consider our closest extinct human relative, the Neanderthals, discovered in the Neander Valley in Germany in 1856. Neander, incidentally, means new man or new human in Greek, and tall is a modern form of thal that means valley in German. Neanderthals emerged between 300,000 and 100,000 years ago. They were muscular, sturdy, and well adapted to the cold climates, with large noses and teeth to warm inhaled air and protect the brain. Paleoanthropologists have also discovered a Neanderthal grave adorned with branches and flowers dating back 65,000 years. While we cannot assume this was related to beliefs in an afterlife, the decoration indicates that Neanderthals honored their dead. This suggests their burials were not solely to prevent scavengers from being attracted to the corpses and posing a danger to the social group. Neanderthals lived in conditions of constant and extreme deprivation where death was a daily threat in multiple forms. They faced fear not only from predatory animals, but also from other Neanderthals outside their limited circle. Completely exposed to the elements and lacking most creature comforts, they understood virtually nothing about the natural world. Their lives were at the mercy of climate and the environment, and at times they must have experienced prolonged, even perhaps agonizing pain with no means to alleviate it, and they lived without the consolation or inspiration of religion. Early humans are distinguished from other species primarily by their cultural inheritance, complex social institutions, ability to communicate through complex languages, and minds not solely focused on the desire for food. Our Stone Age ancestors were intelligent and resourceful, living in small groups, repeatedly inventing the same things due to the lack of universal communication, passing on knowledge orally, and cooperating to hunt large animals. Current genetic and fossil evidence suggests Homo sapiens, or thinking man, evolved in Africa around 300,000 years ago. The journey of understanding our origins is a testament to both human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. From the early belief in a young earth to the scientific breakthroughs that have illuminated the vast timeline of our universe, we see how our perspective has expanded. The story of early humans from Australopithecus afarensis to Neanderthals, and finally to Homo sapiens, highlights the resilience, intelligence, adaptability that define us as a species. As we continue to uncover the mysteries of our past, we gain not only a deeper appreciation for where we come from, but also a clearer vision of what it means to be human in the epic story of life on Earth.